the film that everybody's been talking about. Let's do this. The Interview as you all well know, the interview is the film everyone's talking about, the one that's been pulled from theatres because of the hackers, North Korea trying to get involved and get it out of the cinemas, but it's been officially revealed online, I got to watch it, so let's talk about it. So as you all well know, the interview is all about James Frankel and Seth Rogen, they're part of this talk show, and basically they get an opportunity to go interview Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, because he's a big fan of their show, and the CIA come and say, yeah murder him <laughs> or assassinate him it's not murdering technically yeah it is actually assassinating yeah assassinate king jong un and that's why everybody has been so because <laughs> of this why it's been pulled from cinemas it's been just boycotted all around by north korea anyway people have said oh you shouldn't have pulled it or you you should have kept it out some people have lots of mixed opinions about this i personally was upset that they pulled it out but i'm, I'm glad that they actually put it online so i actually got to watch it so how is this film i'm not gonna lie this film is actually it, it, pretty funny yeah i gotta say if you've seen films like this is the end don't go into this film expecting anything different because this is more or less the same kind of comedy as this is the end a lot of like kind of rude toilet humor sometimes but it's, the toilet humor kind of worked for the film sort of and that's not the only humour, there's actually some funny humour, I mean like violence humour, bloody humour, there's lots of different humour in this film but it's really, it's quite funny. I will admit though like the first two thirds of the film were not as funny as the final third, that's why I have to talk about the last half an hour of this film is it's just awesome, I mean it, it makes up for all the like all the hype and all the controversy around it because it is really awesome and it's just all sorts of stuff's happening you just watch it you just like it's so ridiculous and it just so would not happen but you can't help but just sit back and just laugh at the fact that it's happened in this film and they actually had the balls to do it as well that's what, that's what I credit this film for the balls to do it that's awesome one of the things that made this film for me were James Franco and Seth Rogen's chemistry they're always really good in films I mean like I haven't seen Pineapple Express but I heard they're really good in that film but they are really good together in this film I mean there are parts where they do have a bit of conflicting messages and stuff but they are they do work really well together and really good comedic duo but the thing that straight up made this film for me was the portrayal of Kim Jong Un sort of because I mean James Franco's going to him and Kim Jong Un is like portrayed as a really awesome dude like he has this big showroom full of cars and tanks he listens to Katy Perry while he's in a tank <laughs> and he's just like he's playing basketball he has all the women he's like kind of a playboy of sorts I just love how they just completely slap North Korea and Kim Jong Un in the face and they don't apologize for it they just had the balls to just like completely pock fun at what is North Korea I just love that about this film that's what pretty much made this film for me so have you seen the what did you think about it and what do you think about of the whole pull in from cinemas and stuff like that do you think it's BS do you think it's reasonable or whatever whatever you think put them in the comments below if you like this video and you want to see more then click right here